Hello, and welcome to the Fear Channel, a channel with regular broadcasts telling the most chilling of urban legends, ghost stories, and forays into the darkest corners of the human mind. Those faint of heart or prone to night terrors should proceed at their own risk. Tonight's story is Josh. This all happened when I was hanging out with my older bro and a good friend of ours. We had been drinking beer and listening to music all day. We went to the gas station to get more beer around 2 a.m. Pretty much deserted at this point except for one other truck. So my friend goes in to get the beer, and he comes back to the car with some guy claiming to know us. Me and my bro look at the guy. His back was turned towards the light, so his face was a little hard to see, but from what I could tell, this guy was skinny as fuck, had deep scar tissue and pot marks on his face. Pale as shit too, blonde hair, blue eyes, crooked nose, like it had been broken before. He ignores me, looks right at my brother and says, You don't remember me? It's Josh. Everything gets a little hazy for me at this point. It felt like I was in a semi-dream state. My bro and our friend both commented later about having the same sensation. My bro shakes his head. Oh yeah, yeah, man. How have you been? It's been fucking forever. I still don't recognize him. He talks to my bro and our friend for about 10 minutes telling old stories about their high school days. Mention he's living with some older chick a few miles down the road, just bought a new guitar and is working at some car lot. He completely leaves me out of the conversation, but every once in a while he glances over at me, and it's the coldest fucking stare ever. I get the feeling he doesn't want me there, like I'm interrupting something. Eventually my bro asks him to come back to the house and chill with us. Josh gains some enthusiasm. Yeah man, we need to catch up. I interject and say there's not really any room left at the house. He gives me another cold ass stare. And then everything kind of went silent for a few seconds. Now this is the part that's really hazy for me. I don't remember him leaving after this. I don't remember him or my bro or my friend saying goodbye. All I remember is seeing him walk away from the car for a few feet and disappearing. The truck from earlier was gone as well and I don't remember hearing it being started up or leaving the area during or after the conversation. My memory literally jumps from this freak's unsettling stare to my brother asking, don't you remember him? I think for a second and say, no, I have no clue who that creepy motherfucker is. That's fucking Josh. The hell? I know the guy. I'd known him for about three years and had seen him as early as six months before this time. This guy looked nothing like Josh. Everything about him was different. His hair, eye color, facial features, skin tone, and even his fucking height. We try to rationalize it by saying he must be sick or on some hardcore drugs. We all forget about it until about two weeks later. My brother came back home one day. He had seen Josh again. He looked exactly how we remembered him. Nothing like the guy we had talked to in the gas station parking lot. He told my brother about his new older girlfriend, his new guitar, and his new job. My bro freaked out and mentioned bumping into him at the gas station a couple weeks ago. Josh had no idea what the fuck he was talking about. I don't know who the fuck that creep was who was pretending to be Josh. And I certainly don't want to know what would have happened if that thing ended up coming back home with us. <laughs> 